Okay, everyone, welcome to Just Vintage Crochet. And I have come up with <clears throat> a bit of a challenge for myself this time. Here you can see I have a book that is called Knitting, Crochet, and Netting. This book is from 1846. It's not the real book. This is just a printed copy, so no antique crochet books were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> so here is my challenge. I want, uh, my son is going to take this book. So here you go, Justin, take the book. Okay, what he's gonna do, I have asked him to separate out all of the netting and knitting patterns and take a piece of masking tape and cover the titles of each crochet pattern except for the ones that involved beading or <clears throat> involve a paper graph because I don't have any of those things. So he's just going to do the crochet patterns. Now the thing with these patterns is they do not come with illustrations, only a title and the instructions. So it's complete mystery what I'm about to make. He's done. I am so excited. Okay, Justin, go ahead and set them down. Thank you. And thank you. Okay, so what he has... <laughs> okay, so what he has done, and I want you to... This is important. Yes, see this how the tape is kind of coming up? I just want you to know if this happens during the video, it's just the nature of the tape. I'm not peeling this up and peeking. Okay, so he's got all of these patterns completely blacked out. I guess the masking tape wasn't quite dark enough. Um, and he's got the corresponding numbers in here. So let's pick our mystery surprise antique 1846 pattern. Okay, those are good and shuffled. And apparently there's a few surprises in here for us too, so we'll see. All right, dropped a couple. Keep drum rolling. All right, here we go. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Number two. Okay, number two. Well, that's gonna be easy. Here's number one. And there is number two. And number two does carry on. Okay, so. This is our pattern right here. We're gonna start down here and complete it right here. I'm super excited. I don't have the foggiest idea what this is gonna be, you guys. I don't, I, yeah. All right, so let's get into this. Hopefully I have the materials. What do we need? We, mean, we need to make a chain of nine. We don't, there is no instruction for what kind of material or hook to use. You got to give it to these extraordinarily vague patterns. This is going to be very exciting. Cute, bright peach. So that is the yarn I am picking. And then I'll figure up the hook. Okay, so I went with a number eight vintage hook. Um, as far as modern equivalent, I would say a 1.5 millimeter is the modern equivalent. It says make a chain of nine stitches. I'm assuming that is, make a chain of nine, first round, put two plain stitches in every stitch. So make a chain of nine stitches and join them. And I just hooked my couch, okay. And a plain stitch, I believe was the single crochet. Make a chain after commencing, put the needle in a stitch of the chain. Draw the wool through. There will be two loops on the needle. Take the wool on the needle again. Draw it through two loops at the end. Yeah, it's a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to make a chain of nine and work, join them and work two single crochet. It says into, in every stitch. Typically we work around them. So here we go. One, and then we join. I'll chain one for my first single crochet and put two single crochet into every chain. So that's one, two, and I feel like I wanna mark that first one because I feel like I will lose it. Okay. Stitch is marked. 
So I guess we're basically looking for 18 single crochet. So into the next chain over. The, the head on this feels a little twisted. It keeps, keeps catching on this side right here. I may have to go with another hook again. Or just go with the 1.5 millimeter. I think I'm just gonna go, yeah, it just keeps catching. Okay, I'm gonna start this all over again. I'm gonna go with my 1.5 millimeter modern hook, just cause I know that one is in really good shape. I'll be right back. Modern number two, 1.5 millimeter hook. It's the same basic size. Let's try this again. Okay, I've now worked eight, nine, 10, second round, chain three, miss one, one plain. Okay, so we are gonna do that all the way around, I assume. <clears throat> Slip stitch into the first single crochet made. There we go, chain one, and it says to chain three, two, three, miss one, and then one plain. So chain three, skip the next stitch, and then the next stitch over, work one single crochet. Then chain three, skip the next stitch, and then work a single crochet in the next one over. Chain three, and repeat. Chain three and repeat. I'll be back when I get all the way around in just a moment. Okay, now let's look at round three. Three chains, miss two, one plain. So I think I know what they mean by that. Seems like, I, seems like, okay. Okay. Three chains. When they say miss two, I think what they mean is miss two chains from the previous row around. And then it. Chain three, miss two, one plain. Okay, around. Oh, I should have marked my beginning. I think this is my beginning right here. Yeah, it is. So one, two, three. Three, maybe I'm not supposed to join. Maybe that's the problem is that I'm not supposed to join. So let me try that again. And there we go. And I think I'm not supposed to join. That seems like it would make sense because if you miss two, you'll miss this one, this one, and that'll put you in the middle. So chain three. Miss two, so I think this maybe is the way it's supposed to be. I'm gonna mark this. If we're just if we're gonna work in the continuous round, then I definitely want to mark it. Two and three. Let me get up here. I'm so sorry. One, two, three. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna work my way all the way around to the end again. Okay, made my way all the way back around. Now, fourth round says to chain three, miss three, and three plain in one of the round before. Boy, and you know, this really makes me appreciate a whole lot more the vintage patterns from the 20th century, and I should probably complain a lot less about how vague they are, because, woo. So, fourth round, three chains, miss three, three plain in one of the round before. Okay, so that was chain three, one, two, three, miss three, so I've got one chain here, one single crochet, and one chain. So one, two, three. I wonder if I'm supposed to be working in the chains. Oh, 
I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. And I'll put three single crochet here. And I will mark that first one. Then chain three, miss three, one, two, three. And in the chain three space, I'm gonna put three. I genuinely don't know if I'm doing this right. So we're just going for it, right? One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay, guys, I am going to keep working this all the way around, and I'll be back when I get to the other end. So this is what we have now. And fifth round, three chain, miss three, two plain, in one, two plain. Chain three, miss three, two plain in one, and then two plain. One, two, three, miss three, one, two, three, two plain in one, and then two plain. One, and two. One, two, three, four. Mark this as my first stitch. Then we chain three. One, two, three. One, two. And then this is kind of reminiscent of making a spiral. One, two, three, and then into the chain space, we work two, and then work one single crochet in each of the first two single crochet. One, two, Three. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep it centered. One, two, then two single crochet. One, and one in the next one, two. Okay, I'm going to finish working this all the way around. I will be back. <laughs> Sixth round. Four chains, miss three, two plain, and one, three plain. It feels like we're making a spiral. But not on not on this side. This side, yeah. I just this is gonna be very, very fun and interesting. Okay, it said two plain. I already had my chain three. Oh, nope, chain four. Chain four. There we go. And then two plain. And two plain in one and then three plain. So one, so one single crochet in each of the first three single crochet. Two and three. that right into my first single crochet made. There you go. Then we chain four. One, two, three, four. Get rid of the hair. Work two single crochet. Then three single crochet, one single crochet into each of the next three single crochet. One, 
or as they call on the plane. That's three, chain four, two, three, four, four two, two plane. Did I work that in the chain? No, I worked it in a stitch. <laughs> okay, two plane and then three plane. One, two, and three. One, two, three, four. I don't get it. Did I undo one? I surely did. Four. Okay, one, two, one, two. Gosh, I hope this is a bag. I know I said that already. Because I do. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get caught up. I'm gonna start that chain four, work three, and a few stitches around and get myself caught back up to where I was. <laughs> I've basically caught myself back up to where I was before. There we go, and three. And we chain four, one, two, three, four, two in the chain, two plain in the chain, and two plain in the plane, three planes over the planes. I don't, I'm feeling a little goofy, so please forgive me. Okay, one, two, three, four, and two, I can't help it, two plane in the chain. <laughs> and then four more plane, or three more, sorry. One, that one's a gnarled. Oh, that's because the yarn was split. Okay. One, two, and three. All right, now I will be back when I get to the end of this row since I have worked out my error. And I'm also going to turn some light on because while it looks plenty bright for you guys, the sun is about 30 minutes from being completely set and it's starting to get a little hard for me to see in here. So I'll be right back. Okay. Here, I'm going to move this down so that I stop working off camera. There we go. So that's where we're at now. I ended with the last four single crochet here so that way I can just jump straight into the next chain space. This is looking like it's gonna be a spiral. I really hope it's gonna be a spiral bag. Okay, so the other side, nope, here we go. Now we are on, I don't know if it's gonna be a bag, it's kinda of small. Maybe a tobacco pouch, but no, that wouldn't, well, I guess you could line it. I, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, seventh round, four chain, miss four, two plain and one, and four plain. This is absolutely a spiral. Here we go, there. Okay, so we have four chains. One, two, three, four. And we work two, plain, I won't say it, in the chain. Okay, that's the last time. <laughs> and then four plain. One, two, three, and four. And I'll put my stitch marker back into that first one. And there we go. One, two, three, four, two. And then one in each of the first four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain four, two, three, four, two single crochet, and then four single crochet, 
into each one single crochet in each of the first four single crochet. Oh, I hate the way that looked. And four, and then we just chain four and keep repeating all the way around to single crochet. And I will be back. I get back around to the beginning. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna be. I, I don't I don't like how open the center is. Close it a little bit. It just it's creepy. I don't know why, but it's creepy. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when I get back around to the beginning. Okay, done with round seven. That's really fun looking. Okay, now on to round eight. We're gonna, it looks like we're gonna change it up a bit here. One treble, which means one double. Let me just confirm. After commencing the row, put the wool around the needle, put the needle in a stitch of the chain, draw the wool through. There will be three loops on the hook. Yeah, this is a double crochet. Take the wool on the needle again, draw it through two of the loops, take up the wool again and draw it through two loops. This is one stitch. So that is a double crochet. And where is, uh-oh, <laughs> mixed up my pattern. Oh, I mixed up my pattern. Oh, here we are, here we are. My bad, my bad. Okay. Eighth round, one treble, two chains, miss one. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off with a chain three for my first double crochet. Even though it says treble, they mean double. Miss one, well, I've got one stitch right here unworked. And that's all it says. One treble, two chains, so add two more chains. Then it says miss one. I guess that means we work a double crochet plus two chains. <clears throat> and let me go ahead and move my stitch marker up over to here now. There we go. So that was two chains. I worked my double crochet right here. That's two chains. Miss one. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, let's see. In the chain, there's four chains. So my guess is move this down here a little bit. And work another double crochet into the chain. Now we miss one, so we're gonna miss the last chain. Work two, uh, two chains, and into this first single crochet, we work a double. Two chains. Miss one, so the next, skip one, and in the next single crochet over, work a double crochet followed by two chains. Skip the next stitch and in the next single crochet over, work double crochet, then chain two. Skip the, that's it, okay. Skip the last single crochet and then work into the chain space, work a double crochet, chain two, and then another double crochet chain two and then we repeat that all over again in the first single crochet work a double crochet chain two skip one single and the next one over repeat double crochet chain two skip the next stitch skip and then double crochet there we go Chain two, skip the last single crochet and in the chain space we work one double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two. And in the very first single crochet, <clears throat> we work a double, chain two, skip the next stitch. Okay guys, I'm gonna work this all the way around. 
And we skip this stitch and in the next one over, work a double, chain two. Okay, I'll be back. Looks like now it's growing. There you go. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I ended right here with just one stitch left between the end and the beginning. And I was one stitch short over here of my... Um, uh, my single crochets down here I was just one stitch short so I wound up having to put two double crochet right next to each other I think that's gonna be okay it's not really that noticeable so I had to fudge it just a little so now I'm gonna chain two and I don't know if I'm still working in a continuous round so let me read on probably in probably gonna work in a continuous round to the end okay now we are right here ninth round eight chain Three plain, miss four. Eight chain. Okay. Well, I want to join. <laughs> Eight chain, three plain. I feel like I'm I'm trying to recite a riddle here. Eight chain, three plain, miss four. What's the answer? Just kidding. <laughs> well, let's see here. One, two, three. Let's start with the third chain up. Since we were the three chains right here counts as our first double crochet. Then it said to chain two. Okay. So one, two, three chains up, and I guess we work three plain, so three singles into the top of our very first double crochet that we made, which is technically third chain up of our starting chain five. Then it says to eight chain, three plain, miss four. You really, really have to de decipher these. I mean, I need Indiana freaking Jones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just when I thought I had a handle on this pattern. Skip four. So there's two in here. So that's two chains, one double crochet, one chain. So I work three here. One. Two and three. Well, I should have just done myself a favor and used regular yarn, huh? <laughs> no, this is great. This is great. It's a challenge. So quit complaining, Karen. It's a, it's a challenge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Challenges aren't supposed to be easy, so I need to quit my fussing and just deal with it. And that's going to have us skipping all of this. One, two, three, four, and then working three, three single crochet into this chain two space. I accidentally split my yarn there. There we go. One, two. Come on. Really? That's all me, guys. I'm just not getting it right. Okay, three. Sorry. I'm not, like, frustrated or anything. I just, <clears throat> I wasn't hooking it right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually rather enjoying this. This is really, really fun. It's so different. One, two, and three. Here we go. Get a little more yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Skip one chain two space, and in the next chain two space, we work our three single crochet. One. I don't know why it does that on me. It's probably me doing it. There we go. Two. Three, okay. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Skip one chain two space and in the next chain two space work three single crochet. So that's the repeat all the way around. And I'll be back whenever I make it to the other end. I think maybe this is starting to turn out to be a little bag. You know, back in the day, didn't they used to wear little bags like pockets? They would attach their pockets to the dresses, right? Like to the inside belt line, maybe, it, or even hanging on the outside belt. Maybe it's something like that. I, can you tell? I, I hope it's a bag. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am at the end of round nine. This is really starting to take shape and I promise I'll stop being so snarky. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we already read 10th round earlier and that was plain. So I, I believe what we're gonna do just based on what is down here to come, I think what we're gonna do, I think I made too many chains over here. Okay. I think it intends us to work one round of just straight single crochet. Look at that. Um, I'm not quite sure how to get there. I... Okay. Well. Okay, I'm going to mark. No, I'm going to. Work one single crochet into the top of the double and mark that as my first stitch of round 10. And then one single crochet in each of the chains and one single crochet into the top of the double crochet, then eight single crochet into the chain, the eight the chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five. I've got this huge gap right here. There's no chain two in between. Six, seven. So I probably messed this up right here. I don't know. If I have to manually fix it, I will. Then one single crochet into the top of these three single crochet that's between our chains. Come on, there you go. One. Two. And three, and then eight single crochet. One. I wanted to jump on here to show you what I have so far, and I think what I'm gonna do. So, this is working the eight single crochet around the chains, and it's kind of fighting a little bit. It's fighting with me just a little bit. But here they are worked through the chains instead of around the chains. So, I think I'm gonna undo all this work and go back and redo it while working through the chains because that's really turning out quite nice through the chains. So yes, that's, and you can see I'm working through the chains. See how they're all open now? And then this one here is working around the chains. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this over again. Oops, four, Five, six, seven. Mm, I think I need to work into that stitch. Yeah, I do. Did I miss one? Oh, I did. I missed one right there. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be back. I'm not going to torture you with this. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, guys, so that was just slightly uh, more time consuming than it would have been working around the chains, but I think it turned out so much better this way. I really do, really do think it's better this way, in my opinion. Okay, so now the 11th round. Uh, just 
chain six or six chain, miss nine, two plain. The two plain are in the middle of the eight chain in the ninth round. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we put two plain and nine, wait, miss nine. So we put it in 10 and 11. That's going to put us over a bit. Maybe they intend to. So that is stitch number 10 and stitch number 11 over. Maybe they intend for it to be like that. One two, three, four, five, six, and 11. I don't know. Is that meant to be like that? It would seem it needs to be over more. I'll keep working it and see how it works out. Hopefully it works out because they're really not giving us any any like end of row chain count or stitch count. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, okay, guys, I'll be back when I get back around to the beginning. Maybe. Cut that right there. Okay, guys, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, y'all, I fussed with it. It just wasn't working out the way I initially showed you. So I was fussing with it and trying different counts and it, nothing was working. So what I wound up doing, since it says um, the two plane are in the middle of the eight chain in the ninth round. So you know what I'm doing now? A chain six and I just go into that chain space and I work two single crochet right around the whole chain. And it's in the middle and it seems to be working out now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I just work, jump over to the next chain space, and I just work two single crochet instead of worrying about counting it because, yeah, it, it just wasn't working out. It was really curling up on me. Two, three, four, five, six. But this seems to be working out pretty good. One, and two. That second one is funky. There we go. So yeah, that, that seems to be working out pretty good. So that's what I'm doing. And I never did mark that first one, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this all the way around and I'll be right back. And we'll work round uh, 12 and hopefully hopefully it works out I, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work out we'll see it's a mystery right <laughs> okay guys I made it to the end of the what is that 11th round now we are ready for the 12th round and I'm starting to feel like my hopes of this being a bag is being dashed really fast but let's keep going uh the 12th round there we go. 10 plain and two in the 11th stitch. 10 plain and two in the 11th stitch. Do I join right here? I don't know. I chained my last six. I wonder if I'm supposed to join right here. Let's see here, we'll start with a single crochet. One, two, three, yeah, there's only three chains. Okay, three, four, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, and, and that's the eleven where I add two. Hmm. Let me do this going through the chains. Nine and ten and two in the eleventh off to the side of the loop. Two in the eleventh. Mm, okay. Sorry if I'm mumbling. <laughs> So one, two, three. I'll be right back. I don't want to torture you by slowly doing this on camera. I'll get to 11. Okay, so this time 11 is the second single crochet of the next set of single crochets over. So two in here, one, and two. It's, it's kind of strange to me. It's, it seems like my starting count is off then and maybe they're always supposed to be here. Okay, so I'm a little bit stumped, but I'm not stopping. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go with it and see what happens. There's three rounds left after this round. So here's what I've decided to do. To close off the round, I have my chain six from the last round and right here skipping past all these single crochet into the last single crochet I slip stitch instead of just continuing on slip stitch chain one and right into the very first chain and I'm still going to work in the chains I'm just going to start counting and this is one all the way to ten Nine and ten. Did I miss one? Yeah. Ten. That's going to put eleven right in the middle of this chain, but I got excited whenever that happened because I thought that seems right. Then the next eleven will be here off to the side of the chain. So I, I'm just going to keep going with this and see what happens at the end. Maybe the purpose of it is to simply add, you know, extra stitches. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll mark my first stitch right here. And I'm just going to keep going. I ain't stopping. Either it's going to turn out goofy or it's going to turn out, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys at the end of this round. This is round 12. Okay, guys, be right back. Okay, so made it to the end of round 12. I ended with, on the 11th stitch, so I ended with two single crochet into the last stitch. I don't think that that was uh, by design. I think that was just sheer luck because I'm pretty sure that I don't have this right. It, it kind of seems like it looks right, whatever it is meant to be. Like I want it to curl up like this and turn into a bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Now, round 13, three treble, so three double crochet, three chain, miss two. And I'm just going to work it no matter how it ends because I don't have any faith in what I'm doing over here right now. That's all right. I am actually having a lot of fun with it, though. Okay. This is... I don't know where to start, though. That's what gets me is how do I start and end around? <laughs> all right. I'm just going to slip stitch into the very first double or single crochet. And I'm going to chain three as my first double crochet and then work two more. Wait, in the same stitch or in a row? 
I'll just do in a row for now. Two. And three. And then we chain three. One, two, three. Miss two. So skip two and do it again with three in a row. I'm only assuming it's three in a row as it doesn't tell you if it's meant to be three in one stitch or, you know. Just says, it says what it says, you know. Three treble, three train, three chain, miss two. So it's all up to guess and interpretation. One, two, three, or the way things were commonly made back then, and that's something I'm also not grasping, is how was a round common, so commonly ended that it didn't have to be wrote down. It was just sort of one of those things that you just knew. And if this is to be worked in a row or all in the same stitch, it's probably so common a technique or so common a way of making something, you just knew. And so that's probably the brick wall I'm hitting here is that I don't, I don't just know because this, that was like, what, 177 years ago. One, two, three. So, but this is, a, this really truly is a lot of fun. No matter how it turns out, this was a lot of fun. Just hanging out with you guys, playing with an absolute, you know, blind pattern I just, I love this. This is so fun. I, I definitely want to do this again. And, okay, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Did I skip two? I skipped three. I skipped two there, but I skipped three on this side. And I undid one of my chains. Okay, try that again, kid. One, two, and end the third. Okay, I will be back when I get to the end of this row, round. And did I put that in the same, girl? I'm just not focused at all. I guess I'm just feeling a little too relaxed because this isn't necessarily a pattern that has to be made. It's one that, what I mean by has to be made is like, like the poncho, for example. I really, really wanted to do a good job on that poncho. I wanted it to be perfect. This, I'm not as concerned about. Well, I do want it to be perfect. This is more or less just for fun, you know? Okay. So maybe that's why my mind is a little goofy and a little more relaxed right now. Because I'm not taking it quite as serious, even though maybe I should be. <laughs> Skip two. One, two, and then three crochet, three crochet, three double crochet, two and three. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to continue to do this all the way around and I will be back. Who knows how it ends? Could be peaches, could be pears. Name that movie. Okay, guys, I'll see you whenever I get back around to the beginning. Okay. Now we are ready for round 14. This somehow worked out, by the way. Look at this. My last three. I'm not going to call this on purpose. I'm going to say this was pure luck on my part. Just It just it just happened to work out. So let me grab my pattern. 14th round, four chains, miss three, three treble. So I think when I was working on this, I think... Maybe I was meant to be joining um, almost every round, at least whenever we got to this point here. I think I was meant to join, and I it just didn't say so, so I just assumed it was continue to work in the round. So I am going to join now. So I'm going to chain two, and I am going to join just like normal, right into the top of that double, well, chain three that's meant to be a double crochet. Now it says we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, um, miss three, and then treble. So I think what we're doing is 
we're going to just, I mean, we're going to, I guess we're going to have to pretend I didn't just join into the top of that. But I think the three we're going to miss is our double crochets. So miss three and three trebles. So work three double crochets into the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, and then three into, I think the next chain three space, I'll work them into the actual chains and then we can look at the difference. And I may go back and undo these two groups here and, and redo them in the actual chain space. So I think that's what they intend. So I'm just gonna go into the chains, and in not the chain space, but into the chains one and I know this is gonna look better because there's a lot of patterns on my other channel that I tell people to do this with just because it looks so much better and cleaner and so I think that's what I'm gonna do yeah that looks really good it doesn't lay very flat if that's what it's meant to do this is kind of looking like a doily uh not kind of I mean it is looking like a doily yeah I am gonna do that I know it's a little extra work, but I think it'll turn out real pretty. And I think that if this is meant to be a doily, of course, at the at the end, I'm going to reveal the name of the pattern. I'll peel the tape off and we'll see. This was probably, this probably is meant to be a doily. Um, it's going to need to be blocked because it's rather crinkled. Or you could just leave it looking real frilly and lacy like that. There's nothing wrong with either way. You don't always have to block. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just it. Miss three. That's going to leave an awful. Okay. Just trust the process. Because I'm just wondering, how, you know, about joining for the last round. Maybe they intend me to. I don't know. I'll, you know what? I will cross that bridge when I get there. I mean, the joins are kind of the wild, wild west with this pattern. You really don't know what you need to do two three that is if you exist in 2023 you don't <laughs> which by happen chance we all do don't we okay guys I am going to continue to work this into the chains all the way around we only have one round left so I'm pretty sure this is a doily you know, and we'll, you know, we'll uncover the name of it at the end. And I'm not done. I still have my bowl. I've got the two, the two I opened right there. I still got a bowl full of patterns. So I promise you this ain't the last one. I also have an idea for um, another video like this, but changing it up a little just to make it a little spicier. So here we go. And these are, I think these are going to be fun, fun, uh, little, little fillings whenever we're kind of getting burnt out on just crocheting. We, we just want something else to watch that isn't a, a job, that isn't work. Well, I think this is kind of fun because you don't have to make this. Just enjoy watching it. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish working this all the way around. I will be back when I get back. To the beginning here and then we just have one round left okay just made it to the end of uh, round 14 worked my last four chains and look at that it's almost as if it was meant to happen that way I've got two chains left to work in and then of course I've got um, my starting chain four but it almost seems like this should have been a starting chain like seven four five six seven yeah this should have been a four yeah this should have been a, a chain seven to start with but that's okay that's okay that is if we wanted to keep it consistent with all of these there we go one more right there and one two three maybe they just intend me to go up to two i'm just going to do the second chain up just to give myself a little bit more give right there that's supposed to be a chain four 
if they wanted to keep it consistent anyway. Okay. Yeah, this definitely is going to need to be blocked, but it, it doesn't have to be blocked. I'm going to show you guys that at the end because I've already been thinking about where to put this. I, I do believe it's a doily. And I've got a real pretty candle I can put on top of it and keep it looking kind of like lacy and, and pleated like this. See how it's real wavy and pleated? Yeah, that would be really pretty. Okay, final row. 15th, I said row, didn't I? 15th round, <laughs> four treble, so four double, miss three, and then four chain all the way around. So here we go. We've got four treble, miss three. So we're basically going to do just what we did in the last row, but with four double crochet instead of three. So one, two, three. I'll start. I don't have, I don't have four chains to work into, so I am going to have to work around the chain. Unless they intend you to turn. No, they do not. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Since this pattern here is really kind of the wild, wild west of instructions, I'm going to slip stitch over into that chain space. To avoid having this see how that's coming over the top well that's kind of a mess so without chaining to start I'm just gonna go ahead and slip over to this chain space then I'll work my four two three then work three more double crochets or as they call them treble crochets and in the UK they still call a double crochet a treble to this very day there we go and then we, it just says miss three, four chain. Is that backwards? Four treble, miss three. Is it, wait a minute, is it supposed to be? Four, is it supposed to be all in the same stitch? No? I'm so confused. I'm just gonna chain four, three, four, and then do this again. I, I, I almost feel like that was written backwards. One, two, three, and four. Okay, yes. I think that's the way it's supposed to be because this seems like it was written backwards. How, how do you work four double crochet, then skip three and make four chains? It seems like you would want to make the four double crochet, then chain four and skip three. And I think that's what they mean. It just wasn't worded quite that way. Two, three, four. Okay, guys, whenever I get done with this last round... First, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it, and that's literally just going to take a few seconds. Then I'll reveal the name of the pattern, and I truly hope you guys did not skip to the end to spoil the surprise, the mystery. That takes the fun out of it. Okay, guys, I will be right back. There we go. That's what I think it's supposed to look like. See you in a few. Okay, it's all done. I think it is a doily. Before we uncover what the title of it is, let's see what can we do with it first. I haven't cut it yet, and I ended the row with just a slip stitch into the top of that chain three there. So this is a candle that is from Bath and Body Works, but when I flip it this way, yeah, it's like a mirror. And so <laughs> I took the lid off, but this is a gift from my mother-in-law. Isn't that beautiful? It says chow over here. It's gorgeous. And this is hot cocoa and cream. It's, oh, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Okay. Boom. Just like that. Now I have a beautiful doily and the colors go great with what I already have, with the, the brassy look. 
It's not really brassy. I don't know what that is. Gorgeous. Love it. Let me bend this down a little more so you can see all around. Gorgeous. And I like it being fluffy and frilly like this. I mean, it can be blocked. It doesn't have to be. This is just a cute little thing for fun. This right here, if you were to make this, you could say, okay, that is my 1846 doily. It's not technically made in 1846, but the pattern sure is. And so you can tell people, this is my 1846 doily. Why not? Why not? All right, guys. Let's see what... What are you? Okay, don't want to rip. It is Damier. What the heck? They wouldn't have even we wouldn't have even need to cover this one up. I don't know what that is anyways. I'm gonna Google it though. Just a moment, let me get this other sticker off. This is rather unceremonial. <laughs> I had to use some tweezers to lift up on it. I'm trying to be really careful so I don't have to reprint this. Damier, D-A-M-I-E-R. Damier, Damier. Let's Google it. Okay, I'll put this back on. That smells delicious. Okay, let me Google real quick. Okay, so the Google box told me that it is A, it's pronounced Demir, it's French, and it means checkerboard. And so there we are, we have a checkerboard doily. I can see why they call it a checkerboard now. Starts off with this really fun, interesting spiral. And there we go. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more of these to come because I had way too much fun with this, way too much fun. And I have all kinds of other things in mind. So please subscribe. If you like this kind of thing, please hit like if you feel like I've earned it. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. I don't know what decade it'll be from. I don't know what century it'll be from, but it'll be from. Okay, guys, love you lots. See you real soon. Bye.